Hello, my little puffles and pufflings. Welcome back to Witches X Warlocks. I'm so sorry, but when trying to save the last time, we accidentally clicked through a few lines. Catch and release policy. I would only drink as much blood as I needed to live, and then I would release my victims back into the night without further harm. And you didn't get caught. And you didn't get caught? You dummy. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't be here if I had, now would I, silly witch? I suppose. It was dangerous. It was a dangerous time for vampires back then. Which is understandable. I suppose a cat is not welcome among mice. But... But my dear little mouse was nothing like the rest. A fond smile creeps over her lips. She was. She was bold. Brilliant. Yes. She had seen me as a rival, not just a beast to be hunted. Now... Even when I did lose her, there was always an opening to escape, so I always left her at one in turn. Our little game was a dance that spanned many a year. But... But then, one day, I overstepped. <laughs> what did you do? I tried to force her to drink my blood. Huh? Wait, what? Mm. Mm. Horrid of me, I know. You know? I want... As once said, drinking a vampire's blood will turn any mortal into one of the living dead. If the circumstances are right. Carmilla. Sudden traces of horror mixed with disgust are written all over her face. But? Uh, rather than our usual game, she cried out for help. She was. She was terrified. She, she wouldn't even look at me. I... I managed to escape just moments before the mob barreled down upon us. Mm. That was the last mercy I was offered. When I had tried to approach again, she'd served mu she had served much willing bait for a troop of vampire hunters. Don't you worry. Worry not, I was too crafty by far and had outsmarted them all, of course. Oh. Hmm. Something doesn't line up here. Why? Or... Didn't you just want her blood? Why? Why? If you knew she didn't want to drink your blood, why did you try to force her? I... Did not know then what I know now. It's hardly an excuse, I know, but... Mm. The idea of watching her age, watching her sicken and die, leaving me with a life I didn't have her in? With uh, that didn't have her in it was excruciating. It's love, love, love. I thought that maybe we could dance our dance forever. Carmela sighs. I. I wanted someone to stay by my side so we could be in love for all eternity. But. In the end, thought I behaved like a beast towards the townsfolk. Believe me, to be. How dreadfully ironic. Carmilla. Carmilla? Um... Uh... You wanted to... You want my expert opinion, right? She doesn't respond, but I tell her anyway. Well... I think that loves mean accepting change in each other's differences. And, um, letting that special someone go when it's time. Hmm. The idea of immortal love sounds nice, but only if the other person wants that too. Carmilla remains silent and goes to sweep the floor. I might have upset her, but I want to stand by what I said, not only as a matchmaker, but as a person. Eventually and quietly from across the shop, I hear her say something. I... I only wish I had learned that sooner. Oh, okay, we're just done now! Ah! Okay! Well, uh, I wanna... Ah, let's go red. Actually, let's go this. Carmela, my beloved. Come again! Thanks, doll. 
Come see us again soon. The instant the last two customers leave, Carmilla hums cheerily to herself and locks the front door for lunch. I'm about to take the first bite of my burger when she turns to me with a sort of smug satisfaction. Oh, parched. We worked hard this morning, did we not? I am positively parched. I stare at her with my mouth wide open, a very appealing slight before clamping it shut. Hmm. Parched? Oh! Oh, well, hold on, I'll, I'll grab your lunch for you. We can eat together. I go to look underneath the counter in case she left a bag, but there's nothing. I quickly race to the back and there isn't anything in the icebox either. I return to Carmilla. I return as Carmilla eyes on me. Full amusement. Um... Did you forget your lunch today? <laughs> Seems so. Can I nibble on you? I'm so sorry. Whatever shall I do? I look back at my own lunch. A leftover burger from last night, supper, a bottle of milk. I guess I could go have these. Well... Well, if you need a drink, you can always have some of mine. I thrust the unopened bottle towards Camilla, and she immediately takes a step back. It's like, it's like minced garlic, which I'm pretty sure is... It's not... What gives? I... Oh, no, thank you, dear. Milk is not quite my taste. You know? It's never really satisfied me, you know? <laughs> but... <laughs> oh, <laughs> I have so much power being a voice actor here. <laughs> she smiles gently and saunders over to me. When I look into her eyes, I see the same spark as when she looks at customers. It's chilling. I know what she's doing, but her voice is so hypnotic it almost causes my heart to skip a beat. But? But my- Oh my god! This is about to go where I think it is! But my darling little witch, you know what would satisfy this thirsty vampire? Yes. Huh? What? <laughs> it's bad enough that you want to en enthrall me. I guess I could give you some of mine, but you owe me. Right. Better not hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet bagel ghost, you're always full of surprises. I feel a little embarrassed. Even when you knew what was up. <laughs> oh, goodness. I feel a little embarrassed. She glances away and twirls her hair around her index finger. Well... Well, we're friends. And you're always helping me out, so I think it's the least I can do. My dear. You're so kind, not to mention 100% right. I promise. I swear to you that I shall only take the tiniest bit. Come on! Just give me your hand, please. I'm wearing gloves. <gasps> Oh, this is really cute! I do exactly as she asks. Oh, she's so cute! With one of her satisfied little hums, Carmilla kneels before me and takes my hand and gently presses it to her lips, into the back of my palm. I feel a pinch for just for a moment, but then nothing, but a little dizziness. Carmilla lifts her, lifts her head and licks her lips before removing a handkerchief from my sleeve and carefully wa wraps it around my hand. Mmm. Mmm. Red berry with lots of chocolate and cream. You certainly like your sweets, don't you? Uh, you can tell all that from my blood. I have experience. I have an expertise palette for such things. This is why I think she's a she's a lesbian. Okay, she fell in love with a lady. That's obviously the most obvious one. But she she's a vampire, so she loves blood, and she's kind of fond of me. So all I'm saying is, ladies, when it's Shark Week, get yourself a nice vampire girlfriend. I suppose. If you're truly curious, I suppose I could give you a... Bleh, I could give you a patience of my own. Right? Patience? A few things upon this earth are quite as energizing as fresh blood. We have acquired the taste, of course. She does look like she's had a lot of get up and go, but drinking and blood. That's too much. Ah, Alright, I'm a little tired. What? Alright. Well. It tastes good, you say. Maybe a little wouldn't hurt. I'm impressed. Oh, how adventurous. I'm very impressed. But? Wait, what was that? Log. Okay. But my sweet wit, it was hard. I was hardly serious. You know? Oh, we are out of time. I am so sorry, everybody, but we are out of time. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Bye. Love you all.